Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Joshua. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to patch your themes with an updated version of it. That way there are a few bugs that have been fixed with it. Um, in regards to the updates for this particular UX theme multi-patcher, it's version 11. There's a few things added to it with the added option to not use the arrow glass transparency pack in Windows 8 and 8.1, fix the missing system file bugs in XP, and also fix the potential black screen bugs with the UX style engine properly. Yeah, that third one was mentioned always in the skin pack. So if you guys do get black screens, this would be the best bet to go ahead and update it because other than that, you know, you're going to end up with a black screen. You have to go through the restore point and over and over and over. If uh, you guys do have a current UX theme patcher, this is what you have to do. You have to go to your programs by going to the start screen, click control panel or type it in, press enter. Uh, once you go over there, go to programs and features and also look in the programs and features for your UX theme patcher. Uh, for example, I believe it's alphabetically. So look for that. Go ahead and uninstall it. After you uninstall it, it'll go ahead and ask you to go ahead and reboot. Next thing is you want to go ahead and download the program that is right here, which is the windowsxlive.net. That's the site that you guys want to go ahead and go to. You'll have a bunch of information about it by continue reading it. There's a few, like I had said, changes. And then you can go ahead and go and download it from right here, this link right here. It'll ask you to go ahead and save, go ahead and save it. Extract it from the zip file. Do not ever go to this site because this is the same one, but this one has been updated. So do not go to uxstyle.com. That is a site that you should not be going to anymore for your third party theme patching reasons. This is the site that you want to because this guy does update his bugs and uh, pretty much the whole program a lot better. When you go ahead and do that, all you want to do is just go ahead and right click on the program after you extract it. Go ahead and run it as administrator. Now you have the option to go ahead and either restore it back to where all the theme patches have been restored. Also you have the option to go ahead and check to use the arrow glass transparency hack with Windows 8.1. If it doesn't pertain to you, go ahead and leave it unchecked. But if it does, with those type of themes that do require or would be ideal for the arrow glass effect, go ahead and check that. Also, if you want to go ahead and leave it as a home page, go ahead and check that. But otherwise, uncheck it. And then go ahead and say a patch, and it'll go ahead and patch it. It'll ask you to restart. When you restart, go ahead and right click on the desktop, go to personalize, then click in one of the third party themes like Knox versus Windows. I can't do it right now because my third party patchers have been reset so it's going to look like that. But when you do patch it, it'll look like the themes that you guys had before with a lot less bugs included. So that's it for this video guys. If you guys want to stay tuned for more themes that I'll be doing an overview on, go ahead and do so. And until next time guys, see you later. Bye.